What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and we are back again. Once again, how you guys doing today? Sorry, I'm kind of up close and personal this time around, but um, I kind of want to try something a little bit different, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this, but nonetheless, we are here for yet another review for another controller. It's been a few months since I've done a controller review with good, within good reason. I feel like towards the end of 2018 was just so full of controller reviews that you could pretty much play with just about anything on the Nintendo Switch and you'd still have more controller options. There's plenty other controllers that I actually missed out on that I had no idea that were even around until I actually stepped foot into a GameStop myself and I was like, what the hell are these? So outside of Power A and outside of Nintendo's own brand, Hori is back again once again with yet another wireless option. We have the wireless Hori Pad, the Zelda edition. This does also come in a Mario design. Um, and just like you would expect it to, this is, you know, fully wireless, Bluetooth enabled. There's no dongles included. It does cover up to 32 feet of range if you wanted to play hella far away from your TV for whatever reason. And there are motion controls. So those are like the basic features uh, out that you could expect from this. Now, the re purpose for this, I feel like I'm reviewing this in the first place, is not just because they sent it to me. Just because I want to give it a try and see how it matches up with this uh, official pro controller that Nintendo does as well. And obviously a lot of people, you guys might already know this, but this option is a lot more expensive than this. This retails at $49.99. This came out last December, okay? So it's February now at the time of this recording. So uh, time has kind of passed. Everything is kind of, you know, died down. I'm gonna say died down, but calmed down. People are playing their Smash Ultimate just uh, nicely and, and all that kind of good stuff so we're gonna go ahead and test this out see how it feels see how it compares to the pro controller see how it compares to the GameCube controller because for those that uh, have have been watching my previous reviews you guys should know that I've been playing a lot with the power ray and both the wired Hori controller as well when I'm playing here at home conveniently on stream you know or with my friends um, you know when I'm playing Smash Ultimate we are gonna try it out uh, on some uh, on a couple other games so stay tuned let's get right into it The tape, the tape is uh, yeah. It's in a, it's in a spot. And I got no nails. Shout outs to personal hygiene. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. I love unboxing stuff. It's like probably one of the best things in doing reviews. <laughs> slide this out. Nothing left in here. Open this flap in the back. Instructions on how to connect your controller. Oh wow, okay. So I am feeling this right now before we actually go into the testing of it entirely. So we're gonna go with controllers first to get it connected. Uh, you have to go to change grip order. All right, and this is the part where you would hold down the sync button. Ah, that's right. There is no cable included. So that is something that you're gonna have to make sure that you have on handy when you're trying to connect this uh, new controller to your switch so the one thing about this that um, might be alarming to some but may not be too much of a big deal is simply that you need your own micro USB to connect this to the switch so that's something that if you don't already have one which in most cases some of you might this shouldn't even be an issue for you but I just got scared because I was like I don't think I have any micro USBs but please hold I found one! Managed to find like this really short one. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can definitely see that. But this is super short. So the first thing we got to do is sync it up or connect it to the dock, which I uh, luckily for me, it's literally right next to my con uh, my desk here. I don't think there's any charge on this yet. Huh. Wow, okay. I guess we're going to have to put this on hold for a, for, uh, a little while, huh? Two hours later. Okay guys, so we're back now and I think the controller is charged enough. I was uh, waiting for it to um, charge up completely. Yeah, so out of the box, um, I'm not sure if this is something that is going to be a thing for everybody when they first get it. However, I know some controllers do have fully charged or a partial charge in them before playing. Without a further ado, we're actually going to just now finally uh, test this and feel and see how this feels in game. So we're mainly gonna test it with Smash, might test it with a couple other games as well. So when you are initially trying to pair it, you have to go to change grip order, which is of course in the controller section on the Switch home menu. 
All right, and then once you're at this screen, I can put my um, power aid down for a second. Once it's plugged in, you can hold the button down in order to sync it. And then once it says paired, you can let go, um, detach. So now I have full control of it. Um, like so because of course I had it charging for a few hours now so I'm gonna go ahead and close this now right off the bat um, this does feel a lot different in comparison to the pro controller with some minor similarities I'm already picking up that if you can if you guys can already tell the Hori is the one on the top versus the um, Nintendo pro controller right on the bottom the Hori one is actually substantially bigger than the Nintendo official pro controller which is actually pretty interesting to me <laughs> I had some dust on this. Decided to go with the, the bigger feel. Now, bigger isn't um, always better or worse, um, but I guess it's all preference based on how you feel comfortable with your controllers. I'm noticing that the thumbsticks feel really nice. The controller is a lot lighter than the um, Nintendo Official Pro Controller, and that's probably because there's no gyro sensor or NFC reader in this guy right here. This one does have motion controls, but there is no NFC or uh, gyro like the pro controllers have so you basically can't use your amiibos that that functionality is not here present in this of course we still have our home button we have the capture button the plus the minus a x y and b feel a little bit more spaced out than normal and then I do notice that R and ZR um, let me see comparing it to the wired one yeah so it looks like they uh they made up for their mistake from the last time so the wired controllers they actually reversed the zr and r with the with uh, the zr r placements same with the zl and l and this time around it's actually back to how um it should be with r being the bumpers and the zr and zls being the triggers in this situation so again this is the moment you guys have been waiting for you guys want to see how this compares using this in uh, super smash brothers now just a quick tidbit this also does work on tabletop mode so if you're playing handheld and if you have it on one of the hori stands then uh yeah you can definitely use this without any kind of like, worry or anything like that so another tidbit i am uh i am mainly a gamecube controller user so the hori wired controller the gamecube style the power ray and of course the regular nintendo controller are all controllers that i have pretty much mainly been using throughout the in duration of smash i've never really used a pro controller before outside of the demos at ceo and evo respectively because that's the only type of controllers that they actually let you use because you know they be on that kind of stuff right there so i'm an ike player so we're gonna go ahead and do that so again like i said i don't really i don't necessarily play on this this is just the, the feel the responsiveness and overall functionality so so it is pretty responsive okay it feels like it's it's fine see i don't know how i feel about the sticks right now i'm not gonna lie so because the controller feels a little bit more on the wider side of things I mean, it's something that I just ha that anyone will just have to get used to, but that's not necessarily, you know, a bad thing. Yeah, I am noticing. So it's like it's it's more or less the the way of me just adapting to this new controller. If I had to, I probably could, but of course, being a GameCube naturalist is that is that even a word? <laughs> being a GameCube enthusiast, I have to say that I will most likely still be using that one. But this does feel pretty comfortable. I'm not used to the big sticks. The sticks are actually, they feel a lot bigger in comparison. You can even see it if you, uh, here I'll try to zoom in for you guys right here. The sticks are literally, literally bigger on the Hori, on the Hori wireless controller, okay? The Pro controller, they're not as big. They're actually a lot smaller and the buttons are actually a lot closer. For whatever reason, they decided to spread everything out. They give you guys a lot more space, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but maybe this might actually be good for people with bigger hands because let's face it, my, my hands are pretty decently sized, but if you feel like you've had trouble playing with all of these standard controller sizes that Nintendo and Hori and power ray and whoever other company that makes controllers is you know when they're putting out controllers i feel like this actually might be the perfect fit for you because right now i'm feeling like i got way too much space like not way too much space i'm, I'm trying I'm, I'm exaggerating but i feel like i have more space than what i'm used to trying to play um smash or anything like that if i'm playing anything casually i don't think this is going to really be much of a problem i think like it's just going to be like any other controller like you know like if i'm going to go and play like mario kart if i'm going to play like a beat-em-up game like i feel like 
like this would just would would fit just fine for competitive play just like i said in my last review my comparison between the hori and the power a i don't think that there's anything realistically wrong with either controller. There's nothing necessarily bad about them. The only thing though, you might think is a bad thing about this controller is that it doesn't actually come with a micro USB port, which to some might be a big deal, but let's be honest here, a lot of us in today's time and age, day and age, we have to have at least one small little micro USB. I mean, let's, let's think about this. I'm an iPhone guy, I, I'll admit it, but look, here, I have a micro USB. Why? Because I have a portable bank, power bank, okay? I got three of them, Johns. So naturally, I could just take this from one of those, use it, and it works just fine. It charged this just up, uh, just fine. Um, let's see, home button works. Yeah, like, you know, navigating through everything is fine, you know? Everything works really nicely. And again, if you wanna also think of it, like, if you think of the Pro Controller, and if you're trying, if you're, if you're looking for a Pro Controller and you're trying to save some money, I really do think that buying the Hori one is actually a little bit more on the beneficial side because if you are trying to save a few dollars, Buying the Pro Controller is like anywhere between like what 70 and 80 bucks. This is this goes on retail for $49.99 and it, it is what you get. It's a nice sleek finish. It has a nice little um, design here. Looks like it's like for you know gripping right over here. And then of course the Zelda. So any Zelda fans right here, you guys will definitely get a kick out of this design. And of course, this does come in the Mario design. Now, if you guys are vocal about it, they may be able to I can, don't take my word for it, but like I always say, with popular demand and being vocal about just about anything in life, gotta be let yourself be heard. If you guys want more types of design like Pokemon Fire Emblem, you never know, it could definitely happen. So really quick, I'm gonna try it out on Final Fight, because it's one of my favorite beat-em-ups right here. Just to show you guys what I'm saying is true, like there really, there should not be any kind of like, with trying to pick up like any kind of new control or anything like that. Ooh, the triggers actually, wow, these are actually really big triggers. In comparison to this, so these feel like almost like they're nubs but this is like a look, look at this look at this monster look at this heaving heave is that even a word i don't even know i'm using freaking words that don't even exist but this trigger is a big ass trigger like there's no way you're missing this and it's very like deliberate like like i'm not even playing the game yet i'm actually just trying to get through the freaking there we go just haggard Yeah, you know what? For beat em ups like this, I actually like the bigger buttons and, and how the buttons are spread out. I actually like this a lot. Yep, everything's really responsive. Oh, look, a radio. Can't you guys tell I've been watching a lot of High School Girl? Boom! Sweet. And then last but not least, I suppose I will give uh, Mario Kart a a chance since I did mention it. Overall, my impressions of this is actually really really nice yeah okay and uh, i forgot to show this to you guys of course there's a light up at the bottom so you can see if you're player one player two player three player four okay obviously stuff like that is essential of course hori's not gonna forget about that kind of stuff man hori has been around for a long time okay they know what they're doing they know how to make good controllers but you know what i now the more that i'm holding it in my hand and i'm navigating I'm, I'm going through all these menus for these different games and stuff like that and like actually like playing with them it really does feel like a very durable long-lasting controller despite the fact that it doesn't feel as heavy and and again that the only reason why that is is because they don't have the nfc reader and whatnot like the pro controller does there's no vibration there's no amiibo functionality there is an accelerometer and gyroscope for motion controls but if you have any games that do uh, utilize motion controls like mario odyssey you'll be fine with with this just as well again this is is a really good option if you're trying to save money i really I highly recommend it because look times are tough and your, your boy knows all right luckily hori has been nice enough to send me these these products to do these reviews for them and again i'm being completely blunt and honest as i possibly can feel how mario feels like now again i don't oh wow why did i pick this bike okay so let's take this drift Yeah, so actually, you know what? The triggers right here, if you can see if you can see this, right? The triggers feel a little raised up towards the back end right here. Right, okay? So, this is actually very good if you're trying to quickly press down on the button and it's 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 you know, it's right there. So, you'll never have to worry about missing it or pressing it too late. It's almost like your finger's going to be on it the entire time, and that's actually really good.
this is something that the Pro Controller does not feature. The, they, I, again, the Pro Controller for for what it is, you know, you're spending 70, 80 bucks on it, and it's a it's a it's a damn good controller. Nintendo did not do a bad job with designing that controller at all. It feels nice, it plays nice, the buttons are 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 good for what they are. But again, the Hori controller, in comparison, it is a little bigger. The buttons feel a lot more widespread. You have like more thumb room to really like go and press the buttons. And as far as the triggers go, I mean, look, these triggers are big. They're freaking out there, and and you definitely can't miss it. Like like, I'm not going nowhere. Like there's no way I'm about to miss these drifts or like anything like that like look that red shell trying to hit me i say yeet it's not happening oh two mushrooms all right take one yeah I i'm very i'm very happy about this controller right now like this is actually i'm not gonna lie like, this is this is just fine man why y'all stressing why y'all stressing look i'm talking to everybody that's watching this video right now for those that come to the review definitely thank you very much for coming to watch but i don't think anything that i will review will actually ever be terrible unless it's like one of the soldier boy consoles <laughs> okay let me stop <laughs> So, so yeah guys, this is the Hori Wireless Pad, the Zelda edition, there, it does come in Mario, it is available now for $49.99, does not come with a micro USB, but again, that's not a big deal, if you can think about it, you're saving a lot of money on a very high quality, really good pro controller for the Nintendo Switch, there's a million other designs out there, there's a million other controller options, so it's kind of hard to keep up with all of them if you're trying to collect them, or just do your own type of reviews or anything like that, or get a feel for them, but take my word for it, I would not steer y'all in the wrong direction, this controller controller is very good for this price range it does feel light but again that is because there's no vibration there's no nfc functionality on this this is just for your gaming needs and just as a quick bonus feature if you guys are wondering does it actually work on uh tabletop mode well here you go okay here's my switch here's the controller all right you see my you see me reacting okay look it's it's moving it's doing its thing i quit and yes it does work. So guys, if I did miss anything on this and you do want to know anything more, please feel free to comment below. Shout out to Hori. Thanks again for sending me this controller. Another option that I have to use when, you know, I am too lazy to charge my other controllers and I can just pop this one in because this is the one that has probably the most life on it right now. This does have up to 15 hours of, of play. All the information you can literally find right on the back of the box if you're going on your way to the store and getting yourself one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one. I like it. There's nothing wrong about it. There's nothing bad about it. It does take some take some time to get used to, however, if you are coming from the original Nintendo Pro Controller. But if you're not, then it's not going to take that much time for you to get used to it. So, it gets my stamp of approval. The ooch approval. Let me know again what you think about it. You guys know how to support the channel. All the links are in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. You are shy. I